Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, episode 556, our most frequent questions about testosterone pellets for women. BioBalance Health features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Maupin, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating the symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin and Brett Newcomb are the authors of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, a book that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. I'm Dr. Kathy Maupin, and today we're going to talk about my favorite subject, and that is testosterone for women in the form of testosterone pellets. So I've gathered a group of questions that, and my nurses have helped me, my nurse practitioners have helped me gather the questions that patients ask most frequently when they're in their office or in my office or when they're at home thinking about things and they need some information. Uh, So I thought I would make it a little easier. They can always dial in here to hear the most frequently asked questions about women and testosterone pellets. So One of the things that I hear a lot, and so do my nurse practitioners, uh, is what does the testosterone do and what does the estrogen do in terms of pellets? What are the symptoms they treat? And, And that is because it's hard to remember what does what if you're getting both estrogen and testosterone. And I'll give you a little background if you don't know what pellets are. Pellets are long acting um, pressed, I guess, pressed or comp- compounded pressed testosterone powder and compounded pressed estradiol powder. They're made out of yams, but they're made in a, in a uh, chemistry, a chemical type of way where a, a yam powder is um, cleaved or it basically we find the testosterone in the estradiol in the yam by using some chemicals to get rid of the things that are on the ends of this chemical formula. And then we get testosterone and we get estradiol. So that's where we have it. That's where we get it. So it's natural. It comes from a natural source. It's just not a bunch of chemicals put together in a laboratory. So that's one of the advantages of pellets. The other advantage is that it's, it is released slowly, and you don't have to think about it if you're a woman for four months or if you're a man for six months. So it is not a daily thing. You, I, don't have, I don't have to worry about you taking your hormones. I know what you have. I know that you got them. And then when you have questions, I know that, okay, this is the dose. This is what should happen. Maybe you have a metabolic issue or you have something different than other people. So we try to tailor our treatments to our patients, exactly to our patients. So it helps me take out one question mark when I'm trying to answer questions for my patients. So my my only replacement now is estradiol in a pellet form and testosterone in a pellet form. And it has been like this for 20 years. BioBalance started in 2002, so it's almost 20 years old, and we've been doing pellets ever since. So that's what we're talking about. Now, what's the difference in the the action of estradiol pellets versus testosterone pellets? Well, estradiol is the easiest. Estradiol is the female hormone that causes women to have breasts, it, ca- it also uh, helps women with soft skin. It gives us um, vaginal wetness and the ability to get wetter when we're having intercourse. And it also is, um, it causes us to have um, swelling in the vulvar area, which protects us from some of the trauma that might otherwise uh, cause damage to the pelvis when we're having sex. So the fluid that goes down into the pelvis and expands the mons and the uh, labia actually um, is from the estrogen portion. 
So it goes away after intercourse. It comes back when you need it. So estrogen is a hormone, and it is what is in estradiol pellets. Testosterone is used by both men and women, and but in this case, testosterone for women is the only thing that gives us a sex drive. If we don't have testosterone, we don't have a sex drive. We absolutely positively need to have it throughout our life if we want to have fantasies, if we want to have a sex life, if we want to please our partner, if we want to even think about sex, we have to have testosterone. So t testosterone takes care of that. It also helps with um, sensitivity of the clitoris, sensitivity of the labia, and all the areas around the vagina. So when people get past, when women get past 50, they hit menopause and all their testosterone's gone and their estrogen's gone, the vagina starts shrinking because there's no estrogen and it gets very dry. Testosterone goes away, so there's no um, nerve stimulation of the vulva and all of the skin gets very thin because the testosterone is gone. So testosterone thickens the skin all over your body. It gives you more collagen. It helps support your face, but also it supports the vagina and all the structures there. Many people who uh, have had urine loss, uh, irritable bladder, oftentimes will stop having irritable bladder. They'll be cured when they get their testosterone back. So that's one of the big advantages. It saves people surgery. It saves people taking several drugs for that. And all those drugs make your mouth dry and, and have a several side effects that most women don't want so that they just don't take it and then they have to wear depends. So it saves women from that. The other things that testosterone um, does is it gives us our orgasms. So in the, in the um, line of sexual issues, Orgasms are made possible by testosterone. You can try as hard as you want to without testosterone. It isn't going to happen. So that's very important. Now, testosterone also gives us our mood. When we lose our testosterone, we often become depressed. And so we're treated with an antidepressant instead of treated with being treated with the hormone that we need. So I'd like to cut to the chase skip the antidepressant and go to the hormone that just decreased between the ages of 40 and 50 and give people back their testosterone. And oftentimes their mood improves by a lot, unless they've been depressed their whole life, then mood will be much better after testosterone. They won't be as irritable and they won't be as angry. And that's probably the opposite of everything you've ever heard of with testosterone. But testosterone doesn't deserve the rap it's gotten. It really doesn't make people angry. It's not testosterone that is doing that. Testosterone makes both men and women smooth, calmer, more uh, logical. So that's, those are some really important things that by giving you pellets, you can get rid of some drugs that you otherwise would have to take. In fact, when we lose our testosterone, there's a whole array of problems that we have that I'm listing that get better when we give testosterone back. One is fatigue. Almost everybody comes in and says, I'm, I'm exhausted. Whether they're overworking, usually they're not. They usually have cut their life back so that they just go to work or, and, and come home and don't do anything else because they're too tired to do that. Testosterone gives you energy and it brings blood flow to your muscles. So it makes it possible for your workouts to actually get blood to your muscles and actually lose calories or burn calories, which makes you warmer. It also makes you have a better, a better body, leaner, and it helps you burn fat. So weight gain is one of the problems that happens when we stop making testosterone and when we stop making estrogen. So testosterone, uh, when we lose testosterone, blood doesn't flow to our muscles anymore, and it doesn't activate our muscles. Well, it flows to it, but it doesn't, it doesn't flow to it in response to exercise. So when we're exercising, our muscles hurt, our muscles aren't getting enough oxygen, and they don't clear out lactic acid. So, so basically, you hurt when you're done working out instead of feel better. So that's one of the things that changes right away when you take testosterone. And when I say right away, pellets take two to three weeks to kick in, they, they slowly go up to, to your plateau and they slowly come down.
But basically, within two to three weeks, exercise is really fun again, and you don't hurt. And you can make muscle now. So a lot of my patients are so frustrated, they can't make muscle when they don't have testosterone. And they work out, and they, they take protein, and they try every trick they've ever tried. They gain fat, and they can't make muscle. And that's very common when our testosterone drops. These are all signs that I look for when somebody comes in and their lab shows low testosterone or menopause, low estrogen. And these are things that actually get better. So it's, it's truly amazing and gratifying to me to be able to make people better when they have been told by other healthcare people that they've just got to live with it because you don't just have to live with this. A couple other things you may not notice. One would be your immune system is reactivated when you get your testosterone back. When the reason we get sick and more severely sick as we get old is that our T cells from our thymus, which is right behind our breastbone, um, our thymus shrinks as we get older and it becomes very small and doesn't produce enough T cells, T helper self, cells, T killer cells. Those are the cells that kill cancer cells, kill bacteria, kill viruses. But testosterone, when given back to somebody who has a small thymus and has a bad immune system and gets sick all the time or has had cancer before, um, when you get testosterone, that thymus starts to regenerate and you start making more T cells and you, T helper cells, T killer cells, and that helps your immune system. So you don't get sick as often and you don't get as severely ill. It's more like when you were... 30 and not 60 or 70. You just get sick for a few days and then you're better. So you can recover faster, go back to having fun or go back to working. So that makes life easier. Um, some of the other things, autoimmune diseases are, uh, I didn't, I wasn't trained with this, but I've found the research and I've seen this in my own office that I would be treating somebody for low testosterone for other reasons. And a patient that had lupus or had rheumatoid arthritis or had um, autoimmune thyroid disease, those diseases would get, they get better when I start giving them testosterone and they don't have to take so much medicine that they were taking beforehand. They start feeling better. Their symptoms start going away from the autoimmune diseases. Even MS often, not always, but often will stop progressing or slow down in the progression, which is miraculous because we don't really have a lot of things that can slow MS down. Dry eyes get better. Um, stamina when you work out gets better, so you can work out longer and you're stronger. Uh, motivation, that's an amazing thing. If you don't have testosterone, you just, you don't want to go out, you don't want to lift weights, you don't want to exercise, you just want to sit around. Well, that also isn't good for our weight, and it's really not good for us at all to just sit around. But motivation is a tes testosterone type um, characteristic that we have. So the more testosterone we have, the more motivated we are to get things done or to, you know, get a raise or to take on a second job. We have the energy and we have the motivation because of testosterone. It's, it's quite amazing. No one really tells us this. Another couple things that you may or may not have, I'm sure you don't know, is, is that anemia is one of the things that happens as we get older or we get sicker. And so testosterone helps you absorb more iron from your food. So you make more red cells, you carry more oxygen. Testosterone also helps your uh, arteries dilate. So if you have high blood pressure, your blood pressure drops. Um, not enough usually to stop taking medicine, but it does drop, and that's because your, your arteries are dilating. Dilation is what increases the blood flow to your pelvis when you're having sex. So that's one of the things that testosterone pellets do that is really important, especially in women who are getting older. Um, I think the thickening of skin and making your skin have a better texture and a, and a better support um, is always something women want. It makes us look younger. You can tell the patients that have had pellets in our waiting room and that are waiting to have pellets. They just look different. And people get their confidence back and their, and their energy back. They feel, they say, I got my life back. I feel like myself again. So that's a testosterone issue, not an estrogen issue. Both are necessary. But in many people, one of the other frequently asked questions is, um, I've had breast cancer, and it was estrogen positive. 
I had estrogen receptors. Can I take testosterone? And the answer to that is yes. In pellet form, you can because it does not make or convert into a lot of estrogen. So it will not feed um, cells that may have may be just sitting there dormant. It won't cause a recurrence. So in patients that have breast cancer that have estrogen receptors, we can, we don't give them estrogen or estradiol, but we do give them testosterone pellets. And that takes away a lot of their symptoms and they feel much better and they still have a sex life, which is amazing. If you don't take estrogen, testosterone takes over and gives you more wetness in the vagina. So it takes over and takes care of some of the hot flashes. So there's some crossover here. And those are the things that people who can't take estrogen really appreciate. Another, so another question I get is, well, why do I need, why do I need pellets? I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm 60 and I feel fine. And, you know, and usually when people are telling me this, they're people who have really worked hard at being healthy. But when they're telling me this, I'm looking at them and they don't, look healthy. They don't sound healthy. They look tired. Usually they've lost a lot of muscle mass or skin's hanging. And it's hard for me to say, well, I, I think you've forgotten how you used to feel. And that is one of the things that is so impressive. People can give me 10 symptoms. And later when they come back after four months, after the, their pellets have been working for four months, they go, I didn't know how bad I felt. Now I feel like me. So it's hard to tell somebody who has forgotten how they felt and they they don't remember feeling good that this is going and they it's hard for them to believe that this is going to make a difference. My answer to that is just try it once. Just give me a chance to try it once and and I will you'll either be you may not be 100% on the first dose. Sometimes it takes a couple doses to get you there because it's an individualized treatment, but just give me a chance to make you feel better and make you um, more like your old self. Some people like get a high by <laughs> by getting a new car. Some people get a high by running. And there's lots of ways that you, you can make yourself happy or you naturally get happy. I get happy when patients get better. When they walk in and they say, I'm so much better. I have, I have my life back. My husband's happy. I'm happy. We have a sex life again. I'm not yelling at my kids. One, one doctor I take care of said that, she said, Dr. Moppin, you're the only, re you're the only reason that my teenagers are still alive. Because before then, I'm sure that something would have happened <laughs> and because they were driving her crazy. And now all is well. So these are some of the things that testosterone pellets can do. And if you're over 50, and, and even if you're not menopausal, you can start testosterone pellets. And you can see what it can do for you. Doesn't matter how hard you work, you're not going to be able to, to get yourself back to normal without that hormone. And this will slow your aging process down. You'll look younger. You'll feel younger. And that's the whole idea, to live a long life with a long period of productivity and happiness and, and great sex, and then have a very short sick period before we pass on to the next, next world. So that's my goal. Thank you for listening to, to me today and about my favorite subject and uh, my pellets. And it saved my life and it can save your life too. So uh, if you know somebody who needs them, then just go to our website and Fill in the health history, get your lab drawn, and we'll get you an appointment. Thank you. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.